In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I put together a science curriculum for my kindergartner in a budget. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and I am a stay-at-home mom to two boys. This year we will be starting kindergarten. My husband and I decided to homeschool. He was all on board when I suggested to do it through a charter school, but that went out the window really quickly because not only were they not taking any new families in, they weren't gonna be funded, and it was just like, it's a mess. So um, that really discouraged my husband because he said if we're gonna homeschool, it can't cost us a whole lot. So I had to figure out a way to put together a curriculum that was going to teach my child everything that he needed to know without breaking the bank. For science, I had mentioned how I was going to use this picture dictionary during the summer, kind of as a unit study. That started this whole thing. So during the school year, obviously it's gonna be a little more elaborate and I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of how I've put it together. <laughs> so the two books that I'm basing this whole curriculum out of is this junior picture picture dictionary I got this from Costco I haven't seen it at Costco in a while though so I will link down below a copy that I found on Amazon um, so you can go ahead and check it out it's the same thing it's just a white cover but like looking through it it's the same thing so I'll give you a quick flip through of the book so you know what we are working out of I wasn't able to fit every single thing in our school year, so I did uh, pick and choose, but it has plants and animals, all sorts of animals, our oceans, our planet. Um, it's got a little bit of everything. And also we are going to be diving into this indescribable, it, it is 100 Devotions About God and Science, and this one is by Louis Giglio. It is beautiful inside my relationship with my faith and god has been growing and i do want to give that to my children but you can totally pass up on this if this is not your your jam love this book and how everything was explained and presented um so you get your table of contents and then in the introduction they break it down sort of like an index telling you all the pages that talk about space earth animals and people making it really easy to uh, go find pages that have to do with the unit that you're on so whenever we get to our oceans unit or ocean life um, i can go on and look at look for pages that have to do with ocean and we can do a different one every single day or so forth so it has a bible verse then you have a whole like informative uh, page and then a be amazed section is just fun facts about uh, whatever it is talking about and then all the way at the bottom it has a short prayer which I thought was pretty neat I don't know oh, if we'll get through this whole book but I think it's perfect for bedtime and like just as a reinforcement to talk about what we've already been learning so flipping through these pages I chose the ones that I wanted to create a whole unit around so I wrote it down and then I broke it down by week. Starting off with our first unit as introduction to science, I start off with a, a week one, what is science and the scientific method. Um, we'll talk about famous scientists in week two and living and non-living in week three. I don't know why I added charts and graphs on there. Uh, that might be a typo. Um, but then we take it on to, we move on to our next unit, which is all about the solar system. So planets, sun, each week is dedicated to something about that unit that falls under that unit and then we move on to our next one so again I wrote everything down and then I just broke it down in the order that I wanted it I think during kinder you have a little more freedom with the unit studies um, but later when you get to um, you know third fourth and fifth grade where you actually have like certain standards so you can go and look through those and make your units based off of those oh well, I just Again, wrote it down and then broke it down by week. So every week is going to be dedicated to something new. So once I had everything written down on my little uh, curriculum year at a glance thing, I had to put together 
activities and lessons and all of that. So I have this binder right here. I have divided everything by week. So and I've already organized the things from week one, so you're not gonna see those in here, but every pocket is the work that we will be working on during that week. So this is week two, and then we move on to week three, the living things, non-living things. You don't need to print out everything in the beginning of the year. I don't have everything that I'm going to need here. I just have kind of, I do have the order like I showed you in my Excel sheet, but I also have some other things that I have found that I can go ahead and put in here to save for when we do get to that unit. So I have a few uh, gr um, charts here from my body, my bones, um, the life cycle of a frog and a butterfly. Those are all from Dollar Tree. And then all these other ones about my body, you know, the, the skeletal system and all those, those are from Teachers Pay Teachers, I believe. I'll link everything down below if I can. And then I, if you find workbooks that have things that you're going to be talking about, you can just include them in here. Um, you can totally do as you please with this. So then moving on, I am going to kind of show you how I'm planning my lesson. So how I'm breaking it up. Um, this is the unit at a glance. So what we're going to be learning, um, what books we want to read, places we want to visit, activities and all of that. And then I break it down by week. Again, I don't know why charts and graphs is on there. <laughs> might have been out of my mind it might have been really really late so i've broken it down by week and then i can go on by lesson so the unit is intro to science and then the lesson is, the first lesson is scientific method so i have um a little section here for how i need to prepare for the week um and then also any books or videos that i want to present to the kids and then a mini lesson this is kind of like my outline if you will of like how i want to present things to the kids questions that i want to ask and i say kids but this is obviously mostly for for david diego is gonna sit through some of this i know he's gonna walk away through the middle uh you know but it's okay it's okay so then i also have some classwork and then some independent work that i i think he can do on his own so this is how i'm going to plan and i'll do this for every week so there you have it. I hope I didn't make it sound like super complicated and like a lot of work. If you do have any questions, don't forget to ask them down below or over on my Instagram. My inbox is open for questions. That is it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one.